Oh, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my uh, gastric sleeve surgery, which I got about five months ago. I'm going to be talking about all the steps that I had to take from the time that I had my first appointment until um, I had my surgery, all the different uh, steps and tests that I had to take and go through uh, to have it qualify for my insurance and the process of going through it in Germany, uh, especially as a foreigner. I am with uh, TK and uh, TK Insurance uh, does cover gastric sleeve surgery over the BMI of 50. So uh, I was able to uh, sort of automatically uh, um, be pre-approved for the surgery. So the first thing that I would suggest is have a very good doctor, have a good relationship with your doctor. They'll also have to write letters and, and, and be involved in the process. So it's important that you have a doctor that, um, that supports your decision and uh, will help you along the way. So the clinic that I went to in Berlin is called the MIC Clinic, the Minimal Invasive Surgery Clinic in Zellendorf. Uh, they have an obesity clinic there, and the doctor who's in charge there is Dr. Seussvind, and I love him. He was so wonderful to deal with. I had my first appointment um, with that clinic on June 8th, and um, I was very enthusiastic. Dr. Suswin uh, and I had a really good talk and he suggested that I do the gastric sleeve and we put together a plan. And basically, um, I sort of really wanted the surgery to be fast-tracked. I had my first appointment June 8th and my surgery on October 12th, so about four months. Within that four month period, there was a number of different tests and things that I had to get done in order for uh, my insurance to cover the surgery. And I'm gonna walk you through all the steps that I had to take uh, in order to go through that process. So first of all, there's the initial appointment that you have with Dr. Seusswind. Um, they also can kind of um, fast track you through some of the paperwork that you'll need to do. Um, one of them being um, like a mental health uh, screening, uh, which is uh, pretty simple. It's with a counselor. They go over some general questions with you and just do a, like a brief overview of your mental health. Then you're going to have to do nutritional counseling. That is a part of the process. The nutritional counseling people that partner with the MIC, uh, it's this lovely clinic run by this woman, Doris Brecht. The clinic is Doris Brecht. And so I signed up for my first uh, nutritional counseling appointment with them. And I would need to have three before my surgery. Um, and But uh, after the second appointment, I was able to... Um, schedule the third appointment and then um before my i had my third appointment i was able to schedule my surgery after nutritional counseling you'll also need a full uh, blood work done by your doctor so they give you a list of all the different um, things that you, they need to test in the blood work and you go to your doctor and get that done. Part of it also is um, testing you for diabetes. So you'll have to get like this big gross thing of like this sugar water and you'll have to do like a glucose fast the night before you go to your doctor. And like, uh, and then like in the morning when you go there, you'll have to drink this disgusting thing of like sugar water. Uh, so they test you for diabetes as part of um, this blood work. You'll also need a letter from your doctor um, saying that uh, the reasons why you qualify for the surgery. So for me, it was my BMI being over 50. I also had fatty liver uh, and I had high blood pressure and I had like, um, yeah, I think my pancreas was enlarged too. I, I wasn't healthy. And also you're gonna need um, like an insurance form uh, thing from your doctor as well. Next, you're going to have to go for um, a test for your heart and your lungs. The obesity clinic too was able to set up a lot of these appointments for me. The fact that I couldn't speak German was never really a problem. So they test your heart, you get like hooked up to, you know, these little probes or whatever you call them. And you have to do some light exercises and they monitor like your heart rate. And then you have to do some, some breathing exercises, like really deep 
breathing into, um, you know, some sort of thing that measures your lung capacity. Basically my lungs and my heart were fine. Then you have to do an ultrasound of your abdomen. So they basically, in this ultrasound, were focused on your liver and your pancreas. And one thing you also need to prepare for is that German doctors can just be awful. Like they have no bedside manner. They have no like sense of like appropriateness or care. Like this doctor was like doing an ultrasound of my liver and he was just like, oh, this is so gross. This, that's gross, this Lieber. Oh, there's so much fat, 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 fat in the Lieber. And I was like, Jesus, like how gross this is my Lieber. Like, have you never seen someone with a fat liver before? Like, relax. And this, I had already stopped drinking for three months. I was just thinking to myself, like, holy fuck, like, how bad was my liver three months ago? If, like, if, like, three months sober, this is what my liver looks like. So anyway, be prepared for rude doctors. And then finally, you have to write a letter to your health insurance explaining why you want the surgery and why it's necessary. My letter was very beautifully written. Maybe one day I'll share it with you. So that's about it. Usually within about three to four months, if you're very diligent and you schedule everything and you're organized, you can get it done. Some people need longer and that's perfectly fine as well. I was very sure that I wanted this surgery and so I really just went for it. Okay, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative for you. Uh, please consider uh, donating to my crowdfunding. I'm gonna be doing more videos like this, talking about the surgery and the whole process to help raise funds for my skin removal because this bitch needs a tummy tuck. And just one last thing, if you're, if you're considering getting this surgery, just know that um, there are people in your life who will support you. I was very hesitant to tell anyone that I was doing this. I didn't tell a single friend of mine, not my family, no one. I went through this whole process on my own and I only started telling people maybe a week or two before the, the surgery was scheduled. And although I don't regret doing that, once I started to tell people I was getting the surgery, I realized they were like way more supportive than I thought they would be. Um, but if you feel like it's something that you need to do on your own, just know that that's okay because it's your body and it's your choice and you need to make the best decision for you. And probably there would have been someone in my life who would have said something judgmental or would have pissed me off. Surgery brings up all sorts of weird feelings for people and, and especially dealing with people's bodies or their, their health. You never know exactly what someone might say. So, you know, do what's best for you. And if you know someone or love someone who's dealing with obesity, um, just know that like being there for them and loving them is the best way to handle the situation. No one going through that wants to be judged or lectured or made to feel like they're stupid um, or that they're a failure. Um, the best thing that you could do is really give them lots of love and support and know that, and let them know that you'll be there for them no matter what. Okay, so that's all I have to say. Have a good day. Bye.